Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and this is just in case. Just in case you didn't get a chance to read the word, just in case you didn't get a chance to pray, just in case no one told you, I love you, I care about you, you mean a lot to me, well that's what this is. I'm Mother Gail Trailer, and if you allow me I'll share the word with you, and I appreciate so much the fact that you tuned in and that we can do it together. See, this helps me as well. I get a chance to read the word and pray with you and say hello. And I get a chance Lord, to, to tell you how much Christ means to me and pray that he means even more so to you. Today's uh, devotion comes from Brother David Roper. He talks about his relationship with his father, fathers and sons. I've noticed lately, I'm going to this class and I'm reading this book about attitudes. And I noticed, you know, we're born again, we're saved, thank you Jesus, hallelujah. However, it doesn't um, always become clear to us what's going on in that heart. Sometimes uh, it takes Time. It takes years sometimes for us to relinquish territory to Christ. There are times that the enemy sets up strongholds and we find ourselves in a path of uh, of, of behavior that is in conflict in conflict with the power of love that God has placed in us. Let's pray and let's read the scripture and see if we can see if you can help me come to an understanding of how we can allow God to tear down strongholds. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna turn this beautiful music down. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? It's piano praise. Come on, let's huddle. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for a wonderful day, another wonderful day to praise you. Oh God, you're a good God. You're a strong deliverer. And yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Lord, we fear no evil. We thank you for the word today and what it's doing in the hearts and minds of your people. How you're helping us, Father God, by shedding light upon that inner man, that stronghold that has set itself up and refuses to come down. And this prohibits the love flow. So we thank you and we praise you for your word and for the power of the Holy Spirit and we thank you for loving us because Lord knows we need it. These and all other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Well, 
Fathers and Sons. Brother Roper writes about his father, and he says his father was a good man, and he was a good son. He worked hours at a time alongside of his father, and although they loved each other, they, they, they didn't talk much. But they worked alongside of one another for years and years. He said, Brother Roper said he would like to have told his father his dreams, his desires, his perception of life. But he just didn't. And when he had his own child and his father passed, he thought about that. Why didn't I talk to dad? Now my dad is in this casket and I can't talk to him. I can't tell him things I wished I had told him years ago. Well, Brother Roper writes that Although he cannot tell his father the things he wished he had told him while he was alive because his dad had, you know, his dad had died. He says he has comfort that in heaven relationships will once again thrive. And tears will be wiped away and there'll be no sorrow, no sickness, no goodbyes. Believers in Jesus' death, he says, have the hope of timeless existence and affection, restoration of relationships. He said those relationships will be, will be healed and love will grow forever. Let's read, read Ephesians 4, 31 to 32 so that we can get an idea of what the Lord promises us and what we need to hold on to through the word of God. For we know that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by his word. Amen. If you have your Bible, look along with me. I'm reading from the New International and uh, it starts at Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, 31 to 32. That's two whole verses. Ooh la la. <coughs> And it reads as follows. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate one to another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. Two verses. Be kind, compassionate to one another. Get rid of the bitterness, the rage, and the anger. And we can do it, saints. We can do it by his power. I don't know about you, but I'm guilty of bitterness. I'm guilty of rage. I have been guilty of anger and brawling, uh, unforgiveness, and I haven't always been kind. We all have experienced times of uh, pain and suffering brought on by others and 
then there are sometimes, you know, in the hearts of some of us that that pain and and uh, suffering has allowed us to set up a wall, and that wall will not permit us to get close to people, nor allow people to get close to us. Have you found that to be a part of your character? I don't want to be heard anymore. I don't want to be um, hurt anymore. So we treat everyone with a long handle spoon, yet we want and long for relationships. We long for affection. We long to be intimate with, not with everyone, but with people. We long for closeness. Paul wrote to the Ephesian church, get rid of the bitterness. What has happened in our past has only worked to fulfill our present. It has given us uh, overcoming power. Now we've got to place this We have to place these episodes and these circumstances in their proper perspective and let nothing in us stop us from carrying out the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is to love. He gave us what? Did he call it a new commandment? Well, that new commandment was to love. And if you have forgiven me and I have forgiven you, I will strive to perfect that which I have learned of him through the Holy Spirit. David Roper wrote in the prayer, uh, in his final prayer, he says, one day the hearts of the fathers will be turned to their sons and one day the father's hearts will be turned. The father's hearts will be turned to their sons and the sons' hearts will be turned back to their fathers. I am so thankful this day that God is able to do that. He will turn hearts and minds if we let him, if we trust him, if we stand on his word and continue in the faith, he turns hearts and minds. I am seeing him do it in my family. And I hope you are seeing him do it in your family. Yes, I know the world is upset about this and the world gets upset about that, but there's something about faith in God that just turns things around. Roper, Brother Roper wrote, Father, thank you for forgiving me and allowing me to experience a restored relationship with you. Help me seek reconciliation in my broken relationships and deeper connections with others close to me, even as I await the healing that will come in your presence. There are some things that we have gone through that 
they hurt so deeply that uh, you you can't quickly put them out of your mind. And then there are some things that you can. You know, they're not as painful. But God has given us through salvation, the gift of salvation, the gift of reconciliation. How many times has he forgiven me? How many times have I hurt him, denied him, disobeyed? and rebelled against him. And still, his arms were stretched out. His love conquered my ignorance. As we strive more and more to be like him, watch and pray, saints. Find a spirit of fear because it has torment. Yesterday, I found myself speaking to, desiring to speak to young people. I walked to the back of our church and spoke to two young people. I think they were in there early or late 20s or early 30s and just to talk to them and love on them I guess I talk too much I always do but they were so patient and and I talked to them about how patient God is how he waits to our eyes and our minds open and we realize can't do it that way anymore, gotta do it his way. I spoke to um, a Mennonite couple just led to speak to them. They were eating inside Taco Bell. They were from Alabama the Mennonites with the little white cap and the husband with the, must, the, the beard and the mustache and the, her with the long gray dress. And they were just visiting and on their way back home to Alabama. They showed me pictures of their families, nine children. And uh, I admire the simplicity and we talked about Jesus Christ. And that's what gave us cohesiveness. Just loving them. Your religion is different from mine. I'm a different color from you. The young girl in the church, she was Spanish. The guy was black. We're different ages, different colors, different lookings, you know, different insights into God's word, different light. But Jesus Christ died for us all. And he wants so much for us to live out our lives relationship with others, in relationship with others. So, no matter what they're doing in this world, we hear of shootings and bombings and so much. Continue to pray and continue to read his word and let him work. 
let him work. He tells us to work out our soul salvation with fear and trembling. Jeez. Thank you, Lord, for assisting us, because we, we definitely do need help. Speak to others. Smile at others. Let's send love to one another. And if you can help somebody, help them. Let not the enemy triumph over us. In God's power and love, draw close to others while there's time. While there's time. Sometimes you run out of love, so you have to go back and get some more. Remember what Ephesians says. He will turn. What does it say in Ephesians? <laughs> had the wrong verse there. He says, get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God get, forgave you. God bless you. God keep you. And if there's anyone out there that I have ever Hmm. Forgotten to be compassionate to, or kind, or loving, or please forgive me. And I'll forgive you. And let's overcome this world through Christ Jesus. By faith in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great afternoon. It is 1217, and the date is November 8th. Thanksgiving is fastly approaching. It's the year of our Lord 2018. Sunday coming is Family and Friends Day at Tiftonia Baptist Church. Uh, on the 18th of November is our gospel presentation at Olivet Baptist Church come on let's get together let's have a good time let's praise him and lift him up while we can he's on his way back and we want to see his face in peace so let's be up and doing Let's reunite with one another and enjoy one another while we can. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. God bless you today and keep you. I'm just passing through. Mother Gail Trail.